for me, what happened was the very first time I went on stage, um, you know him, and I, I do this every motherfucking time. Who does uh, the Schmoes podcast? Uh, type it in. Christian Harloff. You know okay. Christian Harloff? I don't think I do. He used to work at the store. He just he's, he does. He's got a really big podcast now called uh, uh, Christian with a K. Christian Harloff. He's fucking awesome. And he was there for my very first podcast. And uh, what's what's his show at right now? He's got a, a channel on YouTube, the Christian Harloff channel. It's the Schmoes. Uh, it's the Schmoes podcast. Okay. He was a comedy store guy yeah. for a long time. Matt knows him, I'm sure. Uh -huh. And so he happened to be at my very first show that I did in Tallahassee. Okay. Random as fuck. He was a Sigma Nu at Tallahassee. And he was moving to New LA or New York to start stand-up. And it was my very first time doing stand-up. And Christian Harloff gave me the best advice of my goddamn life. He, I ordered a Miller Lite. And I went to drink it because I was nervous. As, yeah. I was first time doing stand up. Yeah. Only only we will ever know yeah. exactly how nervous that is. Yeah. And he said, "If I can I give you a bit of advice," and I said, "Sure." And he goes, "If I were you, I wouldn't do that." And I said, "What?" And he goes, "If you do it and you crush, then you're always going to need it." Right. And then if you if you don't do it and you don't crush, you're going to think it's because you didn't have it. Right. So he said, "Just do it sober. If you're going to have this beer job, do it sober." By the way, very impressionable point in my life because I was known as a party animal. Right. So like I put it down. And I thought to myself, I'll bring it on stage with me. Okay. Like I wanted, I'll have it on stage. And so I walked on stage with it and, uh, and I never even touched it. I did the whole set and then I was like, oh, I don't need alcohol to do stand up. 